Welcome to this brief introduction on how you can get your data in Stream. The String database integrates public data on both physical interactions and functional associations. If you're not already familiar with the String database, I highly recommend that you go watch my separate introduction video first. However, no matter how hard we try, we cannot have all data in String. Especially, we cannot have your data if you haven't published it yet. This is where the My Data part of String comes into play. It allows you to upload data and thereby effectively expand String yourself. The key to this is your String account. Login is optional when it comes to String, and most users of String never log in. However, if you log in, you get additional functionality in the form of the My Data part. To log in, you can either set up an account with email and password, or you can use one of your existing credentials from Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, or Microsoft. Regardless of how you log in, you will afterwards have access to the My Data page that looks like this. It has four sections. The first two are basic features that are designed to save time for you. This is the browsing history that allows you to revisit earlier results without redoing the queries, and the stored gene sets that allow you to upload lists with your genes of interest, be it the differentially expressed genes from your own expression study, or disease-associated genes for the disease you're working on. The last two sections provide advanced features that I will cover in the next two parts of this presentation. The first is payload data. This is how you can put your own data in string, adding new nodes, for example non-coding RNAs or viral proteins, and new edges, for example interactions from an interaction screen you performed in the lab. You can also add colored halos around the nodes, thereby color coding expression data onto the network, or highlighting specific types of nodes of interest with different colors. You can add a color legend to explain what the colors mean, and a logo to the page to brand it as yours. You can add more information to the pop-ups, both the node pop-ups and the edge pop-ups. This can be either in the form of textual descriptions, just putting in information about the genes and proteins or interactions, and external links if you have your own web resource that you want to link out to. When you do this, you can get a network that looks like this, here illustrating the colored halo functionality. We are also showing viral proteins interacting with the host, so having both new nodes and new edges. This is an interactive resource that allows you to view your data inside String. And it also allows you to share the resulting resource with others. However, you need to be aware that it requires you to prepare the data in a very specific file format, and therefore some coding will be required. The second advanced feature is the annotated proteomes. One of the common requests we get from users is, please add organism X to string. And I'm sorry to say we cannot add every genome to string. It doesn't scale, and also the long update cycle of string means that adding genomes on demand is not an option. However, we recently added a new feature that allows you to upload a proteome in the form of a FASTA file that has your protein sequences, the corresponding gene names, and optionally text descriptions for them. We will then use the sequences to predict orthologs, transfer interactions, and that way produce a predicted network. We'll also use the orthologs to transfer functional terms to provide enrichment analysis functionality. In other words, we're providing the full string functionality for your organism and all you have to do is upload a FASTA file. This is summarized nicely in this figure. We have the pre-computed string network, we have your FASTA file with your sequences, and based on that, we predict orthologs, predict a network, predict functional annotations, and provide all of that both through the interactive web interface that you're used to from string, and via the programmatic access with the string API, and make it all available as download files if you want to analyze the network outside string. In other words, you have really added your organism to String with the full functionality that would have been there if it was in String from the beginning. The one thing to be aware of is, of course, we have no direct evidence from your organism. It's all based on transferred evidence only. 
That's all I have to say about the my data part of string. If you want to learn about another way of combining your own data with the string network, take a look at this presentation next. Thanks for your attention.